The Beginning. I am writing this journal because I feel that I am changing, and I want to chronicle what I am feeling and thinking so I can understand, at a later time, how these changes came about. My name is Rose, and I am an alcoholic. I understand that now, but I did not know that for a very long time. I was brought up in a Swedish Lutheran family from Kansas. All I knew about alcohol was that we drank it at dinner, at Easter, and Christmas, when I was an adult. I could have one drink of wine, or maybe two, but that was it. I was raised to be a wife and a mother. I married at 19, as had my mother and my two sisters before me. However, for me, that ended when my husband of four years walked out of the marriage suddenly. I came home from work one summer day, and he was not there. There was no note, and I couldn't understand where he was. I looked in the closet and saw that his clothes were gone. I called the bank and was told that he had withdrawn half of our checking and savings account. I was devastated and felt ill. I was numb for several months and tried desperately to figure out what to do. My parents told me that it was my fault. That did not feel accurate to me. My dad took me to talk to their minister and I felt totally misunderstood and judged. I realized I was on my own in figuring out who I was. So I decided to take a trip with a new male friend who had lived in Spain for two years and was fluent in Spanish through Mexico, Central and South America. I had always wanted to see the world and had taken a trip to Europe with my husband. It was seven months before I came back home to California. During that time, I had time to reflect, to read about and start doing Hatha Yoga, and to realize that everything I had been taught was relative to the culture I had been raised up in. I learned some Spanish and talked with women as we traveled from town to town. I would ask them about their lives, hopes, and dreams. They usually did not have any, and rather felt certain that they would spend the rest of their lives in the hot, dusty town they were born in. They were probably right. I realized I had many options being born white, a woman, and in America. I felt a huge responsibility to do something with my life, and I decided to return to college. I shopped around at colleges in Northern California. I was into tarot cards at that time, and whenever I asked about one college in particular, the Sun card would come up, which is a major arcane card that represents attaining the highest spiritual level. I didn't know what that meant exactly, but felt it implied that good things were ahead. So I moved to a small town in the Valley of California to attend a state university. I got my bachelor's and master's degrees in psychology and counseling, respectively. I also got a black belt in Kodenkan Jiu-Jitsu. I lived alone in a small house my folks had bought for me to stay in and loved it. I could do anything I wanted, day or night, and felt like I was finally getting to know who I was. 